Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. Today we are looking at a little subreddit called r slash LGBT. Obviously it is Pride Month right now and so I decided I wanted to try to include a few more Pride subreddits this month just to celebrate. Um, so, starting off we have... <clears throat> We have a post from Faith Nath, which says, I think trans people should get thrown transition showers like brides and pregnant people get. All your friends come over to celebrate this big moment in your life, gift you things you'll need to start delivering your true gender, and just have a big party. Can we make that a thing? Gotta say, it's one of the best suggestions I've seen in a long time. That actually sounds really cute. I'm down. I'm game for planning um, some adorable... <laughs> Uh, trans coming out uh, bright, like trans showers like I'm game I feel like this is one of those things where we're going to need to coordinate gifts though because if we're going to get someone everything they need to start their new life like we're going to need to plan this otherwise I'm thinking everyone's just going to bring like t-shirts and socks and the person's going to be like well got a lot of t-shirts and socks now but I feel I feel like I'm, I'm game I feel like with the necessary amount of planning and, and it, Sounds like a cute idea. I love that one. Um, so, <laughs> next we have my mum is making um, polymer clay dragons and she made Pride themes ones recently. I love her so much. These are so cute. I love them. Oh. See, LGBT cutest subreddit ever. Just look at these. They're so cute. They're so tiny as well. Oh, look at all that detail. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on these. I'm going to take a nice little look. We've got a little trans one in the back. Rainbow wings. Look at all that. Oh, this one's got spots. I like the ones with spots. Those are cute. Yes. Yes. These are good. I love these. I'm looking at the comments. I want cute comments. Bring me cuteness. Okay. Doo -doo. And in the comment section we have... Tell your mum she's a good person. She yes, she is. Yes. <laughs> and then we have below that... These dragons can have my soul. Fair enough. It seems like a fair trade. They, they do deserve it for their cuteness. To be honest with you, you know, just saying. <laughs> but moving on, we now have by erasure has gone too far, shaking my head. <laughs> I know, right? This company, LGT Mobilistics. I, th I'm a little bit dyslexic, and this is a whole lot of just a lot of letters that are kind of scrambling around in my brain. <laughs> This is not a dyslexia friendly sign, it must be said. But hey, apparently horseness horses what? Den what? Is this a, I don't <laughs> I have no idea what this company is. But yeah, you, you forgot the B. You forgot the B. And the um yeah, I feel for the bi people. It's, it's true. We're always the ones who are the first first to be <laughs> erased. Okay, next we have rare it is. <clears throat> Nobody is born cool, except of course for old people that aren't homophobic. It's true. It's it's, but it's kind of it's a little bit like a unicorn, you know. Everyone tells me there are these amazing magical things that I, if I just find one, they're just gonna be so magical. It's just gonna be so beautiful. But like, it's not very often. It's gotta be said. Most of them are just horses with toilet roll on their face, you know. It's like uh, when you meet an old person and they're like, they claim, they tell you to your face, oh, I'm not homophobic. But then it's like they they always, it's, it's, you know, the, the old people who always have to tell you to stop holding hands in public or anything. And it's like, you, literally, there's a straight couple who's practically making babies two tables down, who's not getting told off for um, doing that in a restaurant, but holding hands and like a little like kissing. Oh, could you stop that? Do you keep making us uncomfortable? Okay, so you're not hom homophobic apparently. <laughs> okay, okay, horsey with a ro um blue roll on your forehead. Whatever you say. <clears throat> okay, and we have hasn't always been an icon. We have a lot of very fine print. Okay, let me zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay. Listen here. In 2005, Steven Hillenberg, creator of SpongeBob SquarePants, officially claimed that SpongeBob's sexual um, preference is defined as being asexual. Recently, in 2020, many people have been freaking out over Nickelodeon's recent Pride Month tweet and are now referring it 
um, to it as officially calling Spongebob gay, this is completely false. Nickelodeon never called Spongebob gay in the tweet. They simply just said LGBT+, plus. the plus in the LGBT+, plus indicates other forms of sexuality, such as asexual, intersex, queer, and questioning. Intersex is not a form of sexuality, but okay. Moving on. Therefore, um... This is literally um, this literally changes nothing about SpongeBob's sexuality since he is asexual and has always been. Nickelodeon did not refer to SpongeBob as gay. Please stop spreading misinformation about Nickelodeon's recent tweet about SpongeBob. Thank you for taking the time to read all of this and feel free to spread this post politely um, to politely inform others with the correct information on the topic. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. And it is kind of one of those things, it's one of the parts of LGBT that just gets forgotten, them, um, forgotten a lot. It's kind of like the bi erasure, they do, they do get left out, the asexuals. Um, yes. He is our asexual prince. We love him as he is, he does not need to be any other kind of sexuality, he can just be him, because Spongebob is great as is. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the comment section. Love seeing all these, why do we need to force LGBT stuff on kids, comments as if they don't force heterosexuality on kids all the damn time. Look, all I'm gonna say is there's something fucking weird about asking a three-year-old if that little girl across the street is his girlfriend and then turning around and saying kids wouldn't be able to deal with a gay relationship on a show. <laughs> sniff, sniff, it smells like hom homophobia. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of one of those moments of, um... You know, it's, it's it's weird to push any kind of sexuality on a child and realistically the only kind of terms that I would ever feel comfortable describing this stuff to a kid would be like, well, sometimes there are mummies and daddies and sometimes there are mummies and mummies and sometimes there are daddies and daddies. Because below a certain age, the kid... <laughs> The kid doesn't need to kind of see... To be fair, this is Spongebob we're talking about. There are, it's definitely a show for everyone. So they don't always have to be very young children. But, you know... I don't feel like this whole conversation kind of come, becomes a little bit ridiculous. You know, like when you're talking about a five-year-old and people are like... Um, how can you talk about being gay in front of this this kid? I mean, we could literally talk about anything about um, in front of children below a certain age, and it's just gonna all go over their heads. You know, they're just sitting there eating candy, uh, you know, freaking playing with their toys, not really paying attention. They understand maybe three words that are being said, you know, the monosyllabic words. But for the most part, they're just happy to play with their toys. They don't they don't care about <laughs> any of this shit. They really don't. But yeah, so. Spongebob, asexual, we love him, even if he is not gay, apparently. Asexual's great too, it's great. Anyway, we have Love This. <laughs> Law-hating furry for president says, I love your name, okay, um, my hot take on LGBT education, aka legally being allowed to mention that not everyone is cishet in school without losing your job. If that um, is that if your kid is old enough to make fun of others' kids by calling them gay, then they're old enough to be told that they're being a bigoted little shit. It's a good way of putting it, yeah. Especially because I think it's it's the most bizarre thing, you know. No matter how much you try to tell these people who are who are like homophobic, it's good for kids who are um, themselves potentially gay or trans or whatever to be told that this is a thing that basically exists just because you know um if they're growing up questioning if you don't tell them that's not going to make life easier for them for them that's in many ways going to make it more difficult for them because now they feel like in some ways they're a little bit different from all of the cishets but they don't know how to word it you know it's like myself um I I remember like when I was a teenager I came out as bisexual before I came out as lesbian because no one talked to me about being a lesbian and the first time I actually heard the word lesbian being used it was used as an insult and therefore I immediately as a teenager associated lesbian as being a bad thing because that's the only way I'd heard the word used is just as an insult 
Um, no one had actually bothered to explain to me what a lesbian is and whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. They just yelled, you're a lesbian, me, at someone. Um, and that kind of put that thing in my head. And so then when my best friend came out and said, she's bisexual, she likes girls, I was like, well, I like girls. And bisexual is a term that's not been screamed at someone as an insult. And therefore, that's what I'd rather be than a lesbian, even though I wasn't into guys like at all even at that point I knew I didn't wasn't interested in guys I just didn't want to be attaching a label that I'd seen only seen negatively to myself you know <laughs> so but yes well done law hating furry for president <laughs> was a brilliant name it was a great way of putting it and we do really need to see it just being normalized to be able to say things like I'm gay in front of children and not have anyone act like you're doing anything more different than saying I have a wife and I'm a man like it's, it's just a con I you know I feel like anyone who's watching my videos probably agrees with me you know but I feel like it's just still worth saying it's it's ridiculous that statements such as me saying I'm a woman and I have a girlfriend should not be in any way politicized or treated as me trying to spread some kind of agenda or something crazy like that it's just a statement of fact it's pretty much the same as me saying you know I'm five foot six I went to dance school as a kid these are all just facts of who, of who I am and you know it, it's, it's it just seems weird that you get these people making all of these moral arguments about how I should not be telling people like this but it's like what do you want me to do do you want me to be secretive and or lie or what you know <laughs> uh, what, what would I say <laughs> instead of the truth and I and I yeah you know it's just like a moment of the only alternative would be either keep secrets about stuff that I should not be ashamed of or lie and both of those are bad messages to be teaching children I mean realistically I, I would love to hear the argument for people who are homophobic do you think it's great to be teaching kids that they should hide stuff, that they should be ashamed of who they are, and that they should lie to people about stuff? I mean, to be fair, we do have a lot of normalising of that in society. You know, the amount of people who put, oh yeah, I'm totally six feet tall on their Tinder bio, and it's just treated as normal to lie to people. But I don't know, maybe one day we'll live in a world where stuff that's about aspects of yourself that you can't control is not immediately seen as shameful and people are taught not to lie <laughs> about stuff like that because I mean it's it just seems ridiculous to me but yes so that is my um first I think yeah first, no I did Safa and her friend last week it's my, it's my second LGBT post um of pride month so yeah I'm gonna try to do at least one pride themed LGBT themed um subreddit per week for the rest of the pride month um not sure what it's gonna be next week but uh, uh watch out for that um if you enjoyed uh this video please like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys next time bye